Uh, people always say when a farmer is lucky enough to produce a horse like St. Mark's Basilica that he was always exceptional, but in this case it's true. He, he was from day one an exceptional foal. He was obviously a, an exceptional yearling, very easy moving, very good walker, good temperament, laid back, and obviously when a horse makes in excess of a million pounds of, of the yearling sale, he has to be something special, and, and he was. The Amelian Three here, the cracking son of Sayuni here, half brother to a classic winner of Magna Grecia, and a million three all done last call. Embry Magna, thank you very much indeed, a million three wise. High stakes time, a Dewhurst clash to savour. Richard Hoyles. Darley Dewhurst stakes seven furlongs, group one. St. Mark's Basilica for Frankie de Tori. Thunder Moon on the outside. Wembley trying to join in as well. A three-way O'Brien go as they race up towards the line. And out in front, St. Mark's Basilica. Wembley can't get by. St. Mark's Basilica beat Wembley. Third for Thunder Moon. Now St. Mark's Basilica in the purple down the centre to join Coliseo. And St. Mark's Basilica quickens up in good style. Hands and heels only. St. Mark's Basilica's won this in very good style. His form this year was top class. When he won the, um, the French Derby, he beat Seal away, he came out and won the champion stakes. St. Mark's Basilica on the inner, and St. Mark's Basilica now accelerates. Here down the outside, Mille Bosque is going, but look at St. Mark's Basilica. This one's pulled away, gone three or four legs clear. Champion Turo winner of the Duhar Stakes. Uh, dual classic winner at three, unbeaten at three. But I think what's really interesting is that the ho horses that have done this before winning the French Guineas and the Prix du Jockey Club, I think there were three prior to him, Chamadal, Lopi de Vega and Bramto. And Chamadal and Lopi de Vega have become absolutely exceptional stallions. And now St. Mark's Basilica is asked to go and win the Eclipse. The three-year-old moves to Mishrit and takes the lead. And St. Mark's Basilica begins to move away. Three legs is the gap. Mishrit with the rallying of Dave. And then El Drama that St. Mark's Basilica is well on top in the Eclipse. St. Mark's Basilica, a blow for the three-year-olds with Ryan Moore, Aiden O'Brien. And Dave rallied for second, Mishrit was third. And in fourth place, El Drama backed all day, St. Mark's Basilica sees it out strongly and settled it quickly. A dominant display by St. Mark's Basilica. Ryan Moore gathered him up, and just as in France, when asked, the response was immediate. A record win in the Coral Eclipse for you, Aidan. Congratulations. Just looking at your horse in the winner's enclosure as he's just left, he seems to have such a lovely manner. You must be so proud of him there. Yeah, yeah, he's a lovely horse, Ali. Everything is straightforward, relaxed, good mover, quickens, great mind. He, he does he does everything. Every race he's stepped up and stepped up, and we felt that he'd stepped up again from the last day. Ryan gave him a beautiful ride. He signed off in, in the champion way, beat Tanawa, who we all know has been a great race mare, one of a breeder's cup, and was just touched off in the arc. St. Mark's Basilica down the outside is Ternawa. Patrick Sarsfield gives best falls out. And it is poetic clear, St. Mark's Basilica. Ternawa is on the outside. They're inside the final furlough. And it's St. Mark's Basilica. Poetic clear and Ternawa. The spread across the track. St. Mark's Basilica on the near side. And poetic clear and Ternawa. In the classic Irish champion stakes. St. Mark's Basilica completes a magnificent array. Group one victories.